Alright, breakfast yogurt. Kathleen's got raspberry, rose, and lychee, we think. And I've got orange and different orange and passion fruit. Also, we have a teeny, teeny thing of marmalade for our toast. Teeny marmalade for giant toast. Good times. Uh, yogurt verdict, pretty much amazing. A plus plus, would eat again. So we're talking about World Heritage Sites. And here we are at another one. Tenruji Temple, which we were going to the Arashima Bamboo Grove because mm. it was in Kyoto and I don't know why we didn't do it last time. Maybe because it was too far afield and we were we'd, trying we'd to seen, see stuff within Ky like, Kyoto. We'd seen like a billion temples. And uh, so we missed this entirely. I was like, oh, we should go this time. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Lonely Planet guy was like, oh, it's best access through Tenruji Temple. And we're like... Sure. Okay, we'll go to Tenruji Temple. Tenruji Temple, we didn't know was a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We also didn't know is amazing. Specifically the garden area. Yeah, A++, go here. The One garden, of the nicest things I've ever seen in my life. The garden's astonishing. It's so pretty, and it's 600 yen? Yeah, it's 6 bucks to, to get in. To go through the temple and the garden. I, it's wonderful. And now, we get to leave the garden area and go into... The Bamboo Grove. The Bamboo Grove, which, which you can you see can behind us. It's a little blown out. Uh, that's how it's gonna be. Mm hmm. That's pretty special. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. Sure. What? What is this? Is this like don't run the hurdles? Don't skateboard? Don't jump the. No. What did you say? No horseplay? Yeah. Because that could be like a, a, a pommel horse. Don't try to jump a stair set? Uh, don't be. Godzilla and crush at Tiny Tory Gate. Don't do the thing. We are at the Aragashima train station, um, which is not on the JR line, so you, we, I mean, we could take a train to get here, but I mean, we would have to pay for that, and I don't want to because I'm cheap. Um, also, this looks like it's out of um, an anime. It's so quaint and pretty, and you can get snacks here, like rice balls. Ice balls are cool and all, but you can also get an iced coffee float, which I'm hoping I'll be enjoying. It's also got ice in it, so... Well, it's iced coffee, Graham. Yeah, but for a float... Oh, that's really good, actually. Okay, this is legit. I have some strong coffee, too. Mmm, yeah. The bamboo forest, as it turns out, is very small. <laughs> it's one sort of path uh, uphill. It's uh, worth seeing though. It's We assumed it was worth seeing because it was the cover picture of the Lonely Planet guidebook that we were using. And it was pretty astonishing. We also got recognized in the bamboo forest by a Loading Ready Run fan from California. So that was exciting. Hadn't expected that to happen. Uh, but yeah, bamboo forest, pretty phenomenal. So we've paid the 500 yen a person to come into this temple site. But the temple itself is being restored and we can't go in, so we decided to walk up some redonkulous stairs. And halfway up, there's this cemetery on either side of the path. And some of the headstones are super, super old. And some of them are very recent. This one actually has a can of Asahi as part of it. Like, the can's open, but it's like there's like a thing inside, like a slug. Like, it's part of this display. There's also what looks like a biohazard symbol behind the can. And this mausoleum over here has venting. This one has a can of Coffee Boss. And I don't think this is litter. I believe this is put here intentionally. 
Boy, this place just keeps going. Meanwhile, my legs are being absolutely eaten alive by mosquitoes. The biohazard symbol on the other one looks to have been a family crest? It's a little weird. So there's a crow up ahead, or whatever they call them here. The crows here sound different than crows back home. It's a little creepy. Let's see if he'll be cooperative. Wasn't expecting that. There, hear that? Does not like crows that I know. I noted that last time I was here. They sound like bloodborne crows. Bloodborne crows sound like awful dog monsters. Well, we don't know what's a hundred meters this way, but we're gonna find out. So we are going to the old part of Kyoto, where the streets are quaint and there's geishas mucking about, I guess, doing their thing. Also, a nice walking path that I want to walk on. I've already done it, but I wanted to do it again. It's nice, it's free. It's damp! The first time we came to Kyoto, this is something that we enjoyed very much. This is the Philosopher's Walk, which is so named for a reason, we're very sure, but is a river walk. It's a walk along the river, and it's very, very pretty and wonderful, and in no way diminished by the fact that it is now tipping it down with rain this time. Uh, but because it's Japan, I'm outside in the rain in a t-shirt and shorts, as opposed to at home, where I would be freezing my ass off right now. The humidity has been steadily climbing all day, and it's finally reached, uh, well, I guess 100. For it to be any more humid, we would have to actually be underwater. But uh, we're still very much enjoying this wonderful river walk, which is great. I think we figured out the correct subway route to get home, home to the Ryokan. Yeah. And it's three different, three different lines from where we... The Philosopher's Walk is nowhere near a subway station, so we've been walking for a while. I'm feeling, I'm feeling very philosophical about the whole thing. So I think we've figured it out, and we'll be at the Ryokan soon. I really like the Kyoto subway system. I think the stations look really cool. Uh, these, this chair is comfortable, so I like that. And uh, I think it's a good system. It reminds me a lot of other cities with good subway systems.